Hey guys, welcome back to Rainbow Soul, with me, Matt, talking to you as viewers. Hope you're all doing well, and today I'm going to be bringing you my February faves. And I must start by apologising that it's like pretty much nearly two weeks late. I meant to have been uh, doing this video for so long. Um, but everything I'm going to show you are the things that I did pick. Uh, is that a low angle? Is that better? Oh. Um, all of these uh, items I did pick at the end of February, so there's nothing that I have added or taken away. So, let's get into it. The first item is a Makeup Revolution palette. I've got this on my eyes today, and this is one of the first for me, because it contains uh, mainly mattes. There is only one, two, three shimmers in there, gl glittery shimmers. If I can open it, I'll show you. There's only three glittery shimmers in there, and it's not these shimmers that I actually care about for this one, because I think it's quite rubbish. I don't know if you can see, but even like swatched on the skin, it's not that great. Can you see? Uh, but the mattes... Uh, one, two... One out of fingers. Three... Uh, which one did I do? Four. The mattes are... Um, oh my god, what's it with that shadow? Um, so they are the mattes and I just think it's amazing. This palette was only £4 and it did go out of stock for a while because they completely sold out. This is the uh, Reloaded Iconic Division. Division? Yeah, Iconic Division. They have four, I think, sim uh, like four different ranges of these. this palette alone. They're £4 each uh, and there's four of them. So, if you are popping by, I do recommend getting one of these. There is like a fiery one, um, which is similar to the uh, Naked Heat palette that Urban Decay brought out. Uh, and for £4, you cannot go wrong. Then, the next thing is another highlighter. Uh, we all know that I love my highlighters. This is a MUA highlighter. I happen to see this... Uh, about five uh, weeks ago, it was at the start of February, and I do know I'll be using it through February. It's a MUA uh, Under Your Skin Shimmer Highlighter. And can we just take a moment? Oh, I've be actually been experimenting with this. I have been dusting it over my face and then putting foundation on, and it just gives a lovely shimmery tone to it or just wear it as a normal highlighter just on top like you would any other highlighter and it's great for both and that was only three pounds and i think i actually got it in, in a deal and it was actually two pound fifty but don't hold me against it but that the color of this is ice uh, is it ice sparkle and oh, just check it out. There is a teal highlighter that they've brought out, and I just want to get my hands on it. I haven't seen it in person, but I've seen it on an Instagram picture, so I know it exists. Uh, next is a NYX mascara. I've got that on today as well. Uh, this is the Worth the Hype mascara. It was £9 from Boots, I believe. Yes, £9 from Boots. Um, it came out at the end of January, maybe. Uh, and I've been using it quite a lot through February. I just loved it. Uh, it's got a nice chunky wand that I love. I don't like these plastic thin uh, like brush combs. I just love a good old fashioned chunky comb, like a uh, chunky wand like that. It doesn't leave your eyes too chunky, it doesn't leave your eyes too uh, February is just perfect for me, uh, but I just want a longer lift, um, longer lengthening one, um, so I'm still on the lookout for that. I know this one is a volumising one, actually it's a volume and lengthening one, uh, but I do, do, ugh, I do like the way it looks on my eyes, which is, so it's a thumbs up from me. Uh, I am keen to try the Bad Gal Bang, Bad Gang Bang. The benefit one that they bought out, still can't pronounce it. Uh, hopefully, I'm going to buy that at the end of this month, out of my wages. Uh, but we will see how that goes. Uh, so, next thing is, I think the next thing that I like is the brand. Uh, I am missing a couple because uh, I left them over there. But, what's going on outside? I'm filming! 
Um, so yes, uh, these are nail varnishes. The brand is Makeup Gallery, and I got hold of these from Poundland, and I just think these are great. The one thing, well, there's multiple things I like about these, is they're one pound. Then, they do a bold colour, they do it all in one colour, and then they do the glitter colour to go on top. And just check out these babies. How amazing are these? I just love it. Uh, and they do it with every colour. I've got the purple one here, I have got the glitter somewhere. And I've got a black one with the glitter on top as well somewhere. Uh, and they do a uh, bronzer which I've gotten today and it is absolutely amazing. So if you're in your Poundland, uh, if you come across the makeup uh, no, makeup gallery makeup, then buy it. Because uh, I am pretty sure that you won't be disappointed. Uh, then is a then is a then is a uh, another nail care product, which this is a nail care product, it's called All in One. Uh, Nail HQ London. Now I got this. Oh, there's a hair. Hello, oh, goodbye. Um, lost my train of thought. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, <laughs> I got this in a beauty box. Not too sure what beauty box it was. I am pretty sure that it was uh, pink parcel when I had a couple of those. Uh, but anyway, ever, even when I, uh, I had that, I've been using it, and I just love it. Because I wear a lot of fake nails, when I take a pair off, I put this on, leave it a couple of days, and it just puts my nails back to normal, and I absolutely love it. Um, another one that I got from a beauty box is this green tea primer. In uh, The company is... Uh, Alvio, uh, Evio, group, Evio Beauty Group LTD. Uh, now it's a primer. Now is I've got some primers that are like a water spray. I've got some primers that is like a thick gel, and then this is in between. It's like a really watery, soft lotion, and I love it. Uh, I do appreciate the way it feels on my skin, even after I've took my makeup off. It just feels so nice. Uh, but another thing uh, I got from a beauty box, wow, I just realised there's a lot of beauty box stuff here. Um, this is Dr. Botanicals. Now this is a face uh, oil. It's called, uh, what's it called? Uh, Moroccan Rose Superfood Facial Oil. Now, I'll just put a couple of drops of this in the morning or on the evening and I'll just rub it in my skin and it just makes my skin like if I've uh, but if I put it on at night time, I take my makeup off. Uh, I can my can my can my face can feel a bit red and just like irritated. Just you can just feel that it's dry without actually touching it. I just pop a couple of uh, drops of these on and it just takes away anything. Even like if I'm a bit blotchy, uh, it, strangely it takes away the redness and I love it. Uh, so that was my February faves. I, I do apologise that it was a bit too late. Um, I was contemplating whether to scrap this video uh, and just wait until the March one, but I'm not a quitter. <laughs> uh, and can you check out my earrings? How was well, that like little uh, lightning bolts? I found them as I was sorting out my stuff. I forgot I had them. Um, it's like a, a gift that keeps on giving when you like buy something, you forget you had it and then years later you find it again. Yeah, you heard me years later, I had these years ago. Um, I'm rambling now, so thank you for watching my video. If you've enjoyed it, give me a big thumbs up. If you've just discovered me, then hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment. Uh, and I shall see you in another video, hopefully. Uh, so I'll see you next time. It's a good boy from me, Matt, and a good boy from Rainbow Soul. Stay sassy!